Cesar Aspilicueta spoke well on the penalty incident, and we will come to that in, in due course. But he started off, Jimmy, with that, that sense of frustration that there was something in that game for Chelsea. Yeah, I think both sides can say that and, and all the players will have that feeling a little bit uh, because both sides started really like, OK, we don't want to concede. Uh, Chelsea definitely did that because they changed their, their, their shape. Um, it was all about stopping the transition for, uh, for Chelsea and, and they did that. Um, but then you need to progress. It's, it's still for Frank... You know, to find the balance because now he's getting, he's got two clean sheets, but he hasn't scored twice. And they didn't really look like scoring majority of the time. And there is where, you know, uh, that is a little bit disappointed because normally they have been really creative in creating chances and, and scoring goals. Can you understand, one, why, why the managers would be, be cautious and two, question whether it was too cautious, particularly in the case of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, Patrice? No, I think, like uh, Jimmy said, this is, was a safety game. I, I understand that. The things I don't understand, I can see, like, tonight, I didn't see, like, seven, I would say, good pass. I, I, playing it from the back, OK, of course it was, a, it was a boring game. I think, like, just the player today, they play with a safety jacket. And I, I don't like that. I, I'm more about entertainment. So that's why sometimes Jimmy disagrees with me. But of course, I've been there. But I always like promote like playing without fear. And I don't like when play, players play with fear. And to be fair, I'm not surprised. The best player for Chelsea was Thiago Silva. The best player for Manchester United was uh, Lindelof. Actually, we play in the back four. Maguire, I have a, a really solid game. So, yeah, of course, I, I, I'm happy. But... It's not enough. I, 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 I want to see entertaining football as well. Don't get me wrong. I want to see uh, goals. It didn't no, look no, no. like that the first no, no, no. time. When I talk, I, you I, were I, like... No, I understand why they play with five at this moment of time and why uh, they are looking for, the, for, for a clean sheet because they need to gain confidence at the back. But so so I, understand. I want to see goals. I, I want to see people running forwards. But... Chelsea is not there yet at this time. They are, have to improve. So they, they are, are recovering. They are recovering. They, of course, they have, they have got three goals against West Brom, three goals against uh, Southampton. It, 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 it hurts your, your, your confidence a little bit. So they are gaining confidence, and they should gain confidence from this defensively today. But now it's about the balance. How can we get the balance right? Scoring goals... And keeping clean sheets, you know, and not giving a lot away. You said Thiago Silva has been the best man. For me also, you've forgotten Mendy. Mendy had three great saves. No, but of course, know? of course, you have a great game, Mendy. But I'm just talking like about the player. But if I have to, I, I feel like Thiago Silva was the, like the, the boss of the defence today. But of course, we, we not forget uh, Mendy. I think he has some brilliant saves, like you say, in the first half, even in the second half. But I, I just feel like this game... I'm, I'm not surprised with a, with a draw, you know. I understand, like, people have to be more cautious because, like you say, they've been conceding a lot of goal. But the fans, they won't understand that, you know. And, and my question is, they will play the same way if the stadium was full of fans, getting the pressure when they're going to see playing, like, safe? I, I, I don't know. I don't think so. But if Chelsea goes on now and win five games, it started here. You know, by, by having a clean sheet and having 0-0. Uh, zero, zero. So that's what the importance behind it. So that's why I understand why it has been, from Chelsea's way, a little bit more cautious, a little bit more... With five at the back, yes, you do lose that one man going uh, more in the midfield to put more pressure and to be more creative. And at the moment, Chelsea can't or didn't want to play this game with four at the back. So, Jimmy, you're happy with the draw? No, I want to win. I want Chelsea to win. No, but that's what the fan but, of Chelsea has a big no, club. No. So, you can't say anymore this is a big game because first, they're not playing to win the league, both teams. And you can see today but people it will... Starts, be... it starts with these kind of, of performances. Course. And now you need to grow. So, I understand why this has been done. I always want the team to win. And there was not enough in there for me to say Chelsea should have won. Okay. Maybe, the, maybe the penalty or whatsoever, you know. But that they didn't have enough, they didn't threat enough De Gea to say Chelsea should have won, you know. But the good thing is, 
it's a clean sheet. No, but now I understand Chelsea fans will enjoy, like, no concede goal, clean sheet. Chelsea fans but of course, because, for, see because for, for United, of course, I will say tonight we consider a clean sheet, especially, you know, it's been a lot of critics about uh, Lindelof and Maguire, and they play a really good game. But I'm talking about the whole game. It was boring. Yes, but you want everything to happen in, in overnight. No, it, it's not, not going to happen no, overnight. It's been like a long, you know? it's been many games, eh, the no, league. No, 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 but... How but many games they, they start the league? I will understand those kind of games, the first game. But I just say, like, Jimmy, when you lose a game, it doesn't matter. You go outside, you try They've to win They've just the lost one. the game at home 6-1. They have just lost the home uh, uh, against... But they won Tottenham. against Newcastle 4-1 and they won, won against goal, PSG. But they are going back at, 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 at home. So, so they yeah, scare. So, they, so now you told me United scare playing at they're home. Playing with they're, a still bit of, they're playing with a little bit of 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 fear. Say fear. Yeah. Yes, okay. of course. Good. But so, okay. So you have to say to the fan, to the people watching games, now play player, play with fear. That's it. Let's be honest. But that was always going to be the case, uh, Patrice. That was always going to be uh, the case. Because well, you don't have any leadership. If you have leader in this team. They won't play with the fear. But anyway, like... In, in which team? In Manchester United? In Manchester. You can't, you, I, I don't want to be harsh with them, but like I say, they, they come from that uh, massive heavy loss against, against Tottenham. And I think they recover so well against Newcastle, against PSG. Today, I just wanted to see like, a United playing without fear, no matter if we concede goal. That's, that's, that's my worry. Yeah, but, you mean but, like, but, you mean but, like but, we're but, still like, really but, fragile? But, but, but what do you want? You, you, you're angry that they got six goals against... Yeah. No, 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 I wasn't oh. angry. I wasn't angry. Okay. Well, I was well, upset. Was, I was hurt. You, you were upset. I you were upset. I, I've been there. I've been losing 6-1 also. And now, and now you're saying, uh, let them attack and... and no, and, because he know, was the momentum. It's the balance. He keep, he it's can, the no, balance, but he keeps the player in the hotel and everything. I, I, I'll be honest with you. When we play a three at the back, and I'm not a big fan to United to play a three at the back, because with Juventus, yeah. I was the big fan, because that's the DNA, that's the philosophy. So yeah. that's why, even if you win game with United that play three at the back, the fan will always complain. But right now, I just say, we don't have the defender to play for yeah. at the back. It's, it's been well like today, but I know if Chelsea was attacking, we will be more in danger. So that's why, I'm, I mean, like... Yeah. Play three at the back like you do with look, PSG. Your winger will be like, your, your fullback yeah. will be like more high. Get more pressure. L look, and we're going to create more look, chance. I understand. Do I agree? No. I understand why uh, Man United, but also Chelsea, why they have done what they have done. Do I understand? Yes. Do I agree? I want to see goals. I'm sitting here. I want to talk about goals. You know, we want to talk about goals. It's and, not and about analyze. the goal as well. And, and about, about football. passing. Passing yeah. the ball in the right. You can see people were, were scared to, to, to pass the ball today. Don't tell me that. It's not about goal. I didn't want United to win like 3-4-0 today. Scared is a big word. It's the truth. No, scared. Because you don't want to say it. <laughs> but scared is truth. a big word. It's the truth. Come on, come on, Jimmy. Jimmy, you remember my nine stitches I have in my leg. Because From these who? guys, yeah, you only broke my... You don't remember 2004 <laughs> against Chelsea. I can show it. I can, Stop you can it. zoom on my ankle. Stop I've got nine this. stitches because this guy is always smiling. But you go hard on me. Did I finish the game? I don't yes. know. Mm. Did don't we know. beat you? Yes, of course. So Sorry, what my you're friend. Talking about, then, <laughs> but what, what you're talking about is that, that toughness, that, that ability to go and, and kind of wrestle the game. You're talking about Jim, Jimmy going in hard in the challenge and you having that, that will to get through the, the rest of the game. Is that what you're talking about, lacking in that, in that but, Manchester United? But, but exactly. I, I just feel like, you know, Jimmy is being nice and I'm being nice. I don't, I don't like to be harsh on player because I've been there. No, but I'm, I'm I just not, say... I'm, I'm no, not but, being nice. No, but you it's, give them an nothing, excuse it, because it, it's, they it's concede many goals. It's not it's United it's versus the, Chelsea. It's, you it's, need to play your football the, it is without reality. any life jacket. It is, they play it with is, life jacket. It is a reality. Ah. It's a reality, Patrice, where Chelsea is at this moment of time. You know, they cannot go out there and be open because Rashford, James, will kill them in the transition. Gee, That's what happened last year in the four. Hold on, hold on, one okay. minute. That's what happens last year in the four nil. You can't have that again. So, I understand why this is this has been this way that that the Chelsea has come out. Now they need to grow. If they are again in the next match and the next match and the next match like this, then I say, yes, Patrice, you're right. But if they start growing from this and take confidence from this and now go the five, next five matches winning, this has been a great result then. But, away at Man United. And the nil-nil draw against Sevilla in the, in the Champions League. As well. League. But Jimmy, Similarly. I'm just saying, do you think with 80,000 people out there tonight, 
it will be the same game? The pressure would have been more with Man United, not with Chelsea then, if, if the 80,000 people were there. But I'm not, I'm not complaining about no, no, Chelsea. Exactly. I say it was a boring game. And Chelsea have his part of it. But I understand... It was not a classical. No, reason. it was not a classical. Yeah, it was, no, it was. Come on, it was. No, come on, no. But this, this, is, this is thoroughly entertaining. Though. But no, when you, you talk about Manchester United, do you feel that, particularly when you're talking about your team, that you feel emotional about, do you feel that they are maybe further along than, than Chelsea, that maybe they, they are a couple of games further in terms of, of making that, that base from which they but, can but, grow? But let's say, like, from the start, I think Chelsea bought so many players and that's why I'm like I can't be nice with Chelsea because the player they need to adapt to the league yeah. you know we've been harsh on Thiago Silva his first game but you can see what the kind of player so I understand that but I was just talking about that game today I think like so many Chelsea and United fans where I expect like people to to fly and you know I understand from a perspective of manager but don't I'm sure Ole is Ole Gunn is not happy with that game Definitely. He's not happy with that result because I'm sure... Good. He, he shouldn't be. Of course. But that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's why I think, like I say, I, I, but, I want but, but like, I people to play with... I can understand how he's set up. I can understand why he's set up like this. That's what I'm talking about. Of course he's not happy because he's playing at home and he needs to win. And he needs to be close to the, to the top. So, of course he's not going to be happy. You know, and that's why David uh, Aspilicueta is feeling that way because he's feeling, could we done a little bit more? Could we been a little bit more adventurous? Should we have been a little bit more adventurous? Was there more in the game for us? You know, I understand that, but the the, the point, yeah, the one point that they have gained has to mean something now in the next few games. If they go in the next game and they lose, this is a bad point. Mm. But if they go now and they keep growing and they start winning games and they win five in a row, this has been a magnificent point for... for and it's all... And end of the day, it, you've played in Italy for, for, for Juventus. And, it's, and, and, and end of the day, it's all that. about the result. Oh, Jimmy, I mean, it's you all about the, the result. Hey, the game. Yeah, it's course. all about the result. No, no, it's all, of, of the game. course it's, all, it's you know? all about the result. At the end. But that's the way to play. That's their philosophy. That's their DNA. But I'm sorry, Chelsea is not the DNA to play that kind of game. United is not the DNA to play that game we fear. We need man. We need character. Yes, that's why when people maybe won't agree with Edison Cavani, but for me, he's a great signing. Because this, this team need like man character and of you course. can see of course he come on tw twice first yeah. first 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 sharp post, sharp. sharp yeah that, that's why but, but i know some players some people will prefer like a, a, a sun show on but cavani that's what I, i'm 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 talking about people yeah. come no fear no fear and today like but but fear. he has to but he has to grow he has to grow oh, no? of course he has to grow because but he's ready exactly <laughs> the, the two substitutions that happened at the same time cavani came on and pogba Came on. We saw it happen in the in the Newcastle game as well, where Manchester United were, were level with Newcastle after what just over an hour. But those three goals that, that came late on again, did, it, did the substitutions make a difference in in this match? Did you see more of what you wanted to from Manchester United later in the game? Yeah, I, I see what I used to see. So we didn't like create like a big chance to to win the last 15 minutes. I understand if it's the strategy like for the last 15 minutes, but it's too repetitive and. Team like Manchester United need to be in charge. You need to be in control of the game. No waiting for the last 15 minutes to bring on like Paul, to bring on like uh, Cavani. You know, maybe they should start, maybe not. But I can see like Ole is, is praising more people playing good game and he re reward them. But I just want to see the best player playing. Like we're talking about Van der Beek. Why we bought? I have nothing against the kid. But why we bought Van der Beek? He's watching the game, understand every game because we don't need him. That's the truth, but people will not say it loud. Yeah. But I just... No, You're but spot on. You're spot on. That, that, because, that's the truth. Because he is, he is a player, and I know him very well from Ajax, he is a player that has to play in the position of uh, Fernandes or Pogba. <laughs> so he is an attacking midfielder and who is running. Uh, his, his, his strength is getting in the box and getting at the end of things and scoring goals and or creating like Fernandes. And... If he has to compete with Fernandes, he's not going to play, is he? Because Fernandes is a... Is he can't, a, is but he can't. But that's what I mean. Like, mistakes have been done, so we won't talk about that. I will talk about the player they, they, they've been playing. We're just not good enough. But to be harsh on them tonight, I can't. Because 
the, the protector of the player when they play with fear is right here. So <laughs> I, I will stop because I don't want to be harsh on anyone, but I just feel like when you play for United or Chelsea, you can't, you're not allowed to play with fear. Jimmy, you've been there, I've been there. Like for me, just drawing a game in I don't time, think that it was, it was the end of fear. the world. I don't think that it was playing with, with, with fear. I, I don't think that.